Hi, I'm Louise and these are some very important moments in my rugby career that have led me to where I am. So this photo is, I think, from 2001. So I am aged about three or four here. I'm very obviously the only girl in the photo. And this is the first team I ever played for. This is the minis team I played for. Um, in terms of how much I played, I think some of the coaches that knew me at that age would be very surprised to see me sitting here. Uh, I think I was renowned for picking grass at the side of the pitch rather than actually playing. But yeah, it was quite a hard time for me being as you can see in the photo, I am the only girl. There was no female coaches, so that was quite a confusing time for me because I did enjoy the sport, but I did feel very out of place. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why I do enjoy the environment so much now. We've got such great role models to look up to because I think Louise, aged four or five, however old I was there, would have loved to know that there was other girls playing. For me, it was quite an isolating time because I was the only girl on the team. So this is when I would say I really fell in love with rugby. So after taking a little bit of time out from rugby, uh, my sister had continued playing right on through, um, many straight into unders rugby, under girls rugby. And Siobhan was very good at rugby. She was very successful. She was coming home every weekend with trophies and medals. So typical younger sister, I was very jealous. So whatever Siobhan wanted to do, I wanted to do. So because of that, um, I kind of tipped uh, dipped my toe back into playing rugby. The only thing was, at this age, me and Siobhan did not have a team. So we were basically free agents. My dad would drive us to tournaments and any team that needed some players, me and Siobhan would play for. I was quite fortunate that Siobhan had a bit of a reputation as being a very good rugby player. So if Siobhan, if a team wanted Siobhan to play, they had to take me, that was my dad's rule. If you took one sister, you had to take the other. So because of that, we did get to play for quite a few teams. And this specific picture is from when we joined up with Bigger and we ended up winning the under 15 cup at the time, the national cup. And I remember like that was a huge moment in my career because it was like all these girls all into different interests, different things, things that I was interested into. I finally found like my group of people. Um, and obviously we won, which everybody likes to win. So that was a big moment. Uh, I played my first senior game of rugby for Hillhead Jordan Hill. Uh, in this photo, I think I'm 17 years old. I, this is 100% from the first game I played. It was against RHC. And the first thing I remember from this game is, I don't know if this is the exact scrum, but the first scrum, the first thing I did, everyone had been telling me, Louise, you're back row now. The, the, the most important thing is you get off and you go around and you hit eight. Back rows have to get off and hit eight. Um, so the, the referee crouched round set. Before the ball had probably even gone in, I had already broken off the scrum, was round at eight's feet, and the ref called a penalty for offside. Both scrums stood up and were like, what has happened here? And I was just standing on the other side like, okay, this is a little bit different to anything I've done before. But I think at this time, Hills was a, a huge part in my career. Um, I didn't know it at this time. I was very young in that team, but I, I didn't quite realise how big an impact Hills would have on my life. But starting with the, the women's team, playing alongside players like Lindsay Smith, Gemma Forsyth, Jade Conk was in that team. I had great role models to play alongside. So I don't even think I realised at that time how fortunate I was to play with girls like that, but starting with Hills was a huge moment in my career. Um, so this next photo is taken from the Sarah Beanie Cup in 2016-2017 season. And this, I think, was my third season with Hills. Uh, but I was also captaining, this was my first season captaining. I think I was only 19 at the time. Um, and for me, it was just, it really brought me out of my comfort zone having to be captain. And suddenly when things go wrong, instead of being the one who went into themselves, I had to be the one that would talk to the team and try and work out a solution and solve it. I think to be 19 years old and leading out your team to win a national title at BT Murrayfield, that's pretty special. So looking back at this, this image, I'm like, wow, that is pretty cool. Like how many other people in the world get to say that they've done that? So this next photo is taken from my sister's first cap in Wales in Conway Bay. This was my second season um, playing for the Scotland team. My whole family was there watching, my mum, my dad, my brother and his girlfriend. And to me, this was such a special moment because the feeling of joy I got from not only them supporting me, but supporting my sisters 
nothing I've ever felt before. And if I'm honest, I've just spent the rest of my Scotland Women career chasing that feeling of making my parents proud, making my family proud. Um, especially with everything that's gone on in the past few years, I think now I'm starting to realise how fortunate I, have, I am to have such a supportive family, family that are able to come and do come to all of our games. So I've, yeah, spending the rest of my career trying to make them proud. So this last photo that I've chosen um, was from the Ireland game, the last game of the World Cup qualifiers. To me, it was such an amazing moment because for me, that was the moment that all the hard work, all the sacrifices, it really felt like it had paid off. My, I've been playing for Scotland now for about four or five years and sometimes you don't always get that feeling that you put in all the hours before work, after work, you sometimes feel like it is quite hard but in that moment when we just beaten Ireland and we're now on to the next stage it was really like wow that was all worth it, all the hard choices, all the early mornings, all the late nights, suddenly it was just like you forget about all of that times and suddenly it was just this complete feeling of utter joy um, in that photo um, is probably some of my best friends and getting to have that moment and share that moment, share the picture of those girls is an utterly unbelievable feeling.